Good evening, Jamaica. And thank you for joining me again on another episode of Reason, the Old Medition. As we continue to play our part in trying to stem this global health cataclysm. Corona and COVID-19 are currently on the tongues of almost everybody. And with our national cases now moving up to 47, it will be on our tongues for a very long time. Yet, there is another sea that is bothering our country, that of criminal activities. In recent weeks, there has been the brazen daylight attack in the tourism mecca in Montego Bay. There has been two shooting deaths in Augusta. There have been stabbings. There have been, as the Gleaner colorfully put it, the lighting up of a police vehicle. My dear Jamaica, if under trying circumstances, if under adversity, if in this period we are unable to put aside our individual differences and unite for a national greater cause, then as a people we are doomed. There is something innately wrong with our mentality and our way of thinking. Talking about our mentality as a people, there is something that is bothering me greatly. We are going into day two of our national curfew. And there are persons who are blatantly disrespecting this national order, putting our people at risk, and are foolish enough to be videoing it and pretend as it is something they should be proud of. But I am happy that the law enforcers are doing their job. You are talking about you're not going to go in. I guarantee you, you will go in. The decision is yours, however, to go into where? You can go into your homes or you can go into a prison cell. I have come to realize that common sense is actually a rare commodity and there are certain times it is important that persons make decisions for people who I really believe are not smart enough to make sensible decisions for themselves and therefore put themselves and others at risk. And hence why we're in this situation. Yes, it is an impeachment in our freedom. Freedom is actually one of the greatest treasures of mankind. Something we have fought for greatly. We have paid for with sweat and blood in the past. But let us not, let us not, let us ensure that we do not make a mockery of this gift of freedom that we have. In a few hours, the verdict of the appeal of incarcerated dancer superstar Vibes Cartel will be read. And if all goes well, he will be granted his freedom. How ironic though in this time, he should be freed to now be confined to his homes. Yet, I wish him and his legal team all the very best as we watch these developing stories. Families, individuals, my fellow countrymen, stay inside. Do your part as we try our very best to move past this plague that has befallen our dear, dear earth. Until next week, stay good and make good. Thank you.